Vail Scientific Summit is an incredible opportunity for us as clinician scientists to really connect closely with the basic scientists, um, sort of pre creating all these opportunities for the translational research we're all kind of talking about and, and supporting. So to spend some time listening to all the basic science that's going on and just clearly seeing how that's going to probably in the near future, affect and benefit our patients clinically um, is what's so special about this particular scientific summit. It's been different to see patients in the office with masks on. Um, a lot of what I do personally and all of us do is sort of, you know, facial, you know, expression and connection. And so we've missed that a little bit. That being said, some of the positives are we have expanded the opportunity for telehealth, which I think has um, been good for a lot of our patients, particularly here in Vail. Not everybody lives locally. I was just talking to Dr. Bukata about some of the um, work she's doing with Forteo. A lot of that was just hot off the press, and so it's really exciting to see a medication that has an indication for osteoporosis to help sort of strengthen weak bones actually have an impact on articular cartilage and our, potentially arthritis, which is some of the work that we're doing here. The Vail Scientific Summit is a very unique opportunity for, again, the basic scientists and the uh, clinician scientists to open up opportunities for collaboration in the future as people are kind of in the same room saying, wow, I'm working on that as well. I have an interest in that and taking labs from different places all over the country who are then gonna collaborate and continue to further work.